Okay. Everybody ready? Yeah. All right. What I want to do right, right fast, I think this will be a little easy. Let's try it out. It's a call and response. When I say I go, your response is I may. Let's try this out. I go. I go. I go. That's a language in uh, Ghana, West Africa, the language of Cree. And um, I go means may I have your attention. I may is yes, you have my attention and I'm waiting for instructions, right? So we've been here since uh, I think Friday or Monday, okay? And Africa is such a vast continent, such a large continent, to where we could only concentrate on one part of Africa. And we chose uh, West Africa because uh, I guess West Africa is very interesting to me. And the kids, we had a wonderful time. And, and, and Leaf in School is just such a great organization. And um, I'm really pleased that they, they have given me the opportunity to work with, with your kids. Um, the teachers were very helpful. Um, I feel good about that. We had such a warm welcome. We're from New Orleans, Louisiana, and um, we had a, a very warm welcome from walking into the office to uh, allowing us to work with your children. Um, we taught the kids in Africa, it's, 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 it's a little strange. They don't just learn to dance. In Africa, it's music, song, and dance is one. So they learn songs, they learn to dance, and they learn a few dances, even though you we only could train them on one dance uh, today, but they learned a few of them. They learned the song as well as the music, the rhythm. And uh, it's not easy, I must say. It looks easy, but uh, African dances, you have more than one thing going on at the same time. So it's not an easy dance form to learn, dive as, a, as, a, as an echo, to teach the children a different culture, because um, they're going to be the ones that bring peace to the world. And uh, from what I see at this school, the future looks very bright. So I don't want to let you do that, but we really enjoyed this week. Uh, this is a very special week for me. And uh, thanks for having us. And uh, my wife, uh, I guess she'll come out and say something a little bit later. But uh, let's get started. I go!
age of 13, they did a ceremony of dance, right? And what they were saying in that ceremony is that from this point forward, I'm 13 years old, I'm going to be responsible for the rest of my entire life, right? So after that point, after they did the dance and the ceremony, they couldn't do any unjust things ever again. So that's a way of making commitments to their parents, as well as the elders, that I'm getting older, I'm getting more responsible, I see more, I'm wiser, right? So we taught the kids that dance because now, since they have done this dance, they're going to be, un I mean, they're going to be very just students from, from that point forward, right? So you don't have to tell them about doing their homework, they're going to know that they have to do it when they come from school, right? So that's what this dance is about. It's called uh, Kasunde from the Balan people. Next group coming up.